Hey crafty friends, it's Jen Meyer here and I am going to go over the sorry, March and April close to my heart catalog for you. Now I did do a sneak peek for my VIPs a couple of weeks ago, but in that meantime, I have had a chance to complete, well, all right, partially complete some projects that I thought I would share with you as we did another more in-depth walkthrough with this catalog. Um, if you need a catalog, you can um, go on the website and view, it'll be here. Let's see, if you click under here and you click under more, you can view the catalog as a PDF. And then if you want to have one, the easiest way to do that is to just place an order on my website. It'll be a little check mark as you check out. You can get one for free. Um, my VIPs usually get them from free for me. I do pay to have them shipped out, but I was forgetful this month, so they did not get those. So anyways, the Close to My Heart catalog uh, begins today, which is March 1st. And I'm gonna take you through uh, and give you a little bit more information about some of the things that are in this catalog. Um, we have our table of contents and our letter from Jeanette, the founder, along with the reminder that there is another whole catalog that goes with this, which is the core catalog. So that has all of your basics. It has some great um, collections like a birthday collection and some lovely and some foil paper and things like that. So you definitely don't want to forget about that. And then we talk a little bit about our VIP program. I have a great group of VIPs. They save every single time they order. Um, they're redeeming product credit as we go, um, which is great. I have a couple of people who are saving it all up. So you definitely want to look into that. It's um, a membership fee of $35 that takes you for an entire year. Every time you order, you will earn 15% back. They start you off with $15 and close to my heart cash. So it's really only costing you about 20 bucks for the first year. And then every time you order $50 worth product subtotal, even if you're redeeming credit, it just has to be a first subtotal of $50. You can redeem your, your uh, $15 right off of that. So um, you're only out of pocket uh, $35. Then you're going to get the stamp of the month for free. That $18.95 stamp is going to be yours for free. Um, and then there's some other perks and th different things like that. So if you, I think even if you order just once or maybe twice through the entire year, this is a, such a money maker. You should really consider doing that. So that's a little bit about our VIP program. And of course, you can email me if you have any other questions. This is our craft with heart information. We do have a subscription program for both scrapbooking or for card making. I've talked about this numerous times, so we're going to keep moving forward and all right our first collection is called Daisy Meadows and it is just lovely it definitely has some Easter elements to it but it's for the most part just very springy and guys I'm telling you the colors in this collection never would have put these together myself and they are so stunning in fact in fact, one of the things that we we'll, we did, and you'll see here in a minute, because I have some actual page samples from this, is we didn't stamp in black or gray even. We stamped in cinnamon. And I'm going to be very honest with you, not my favorite color. I was like, why are we stamping in this color? It makes such a difference. In fact, when you see the picture of my life cards, those where you would normally have a black or gray or a tan kind of outline for the sketch are actually sketched in the cinnamon color too. So anyways, uh, Daisy Meadows is our spring collection and it features peach, smoothie, cinnamon, peacock, mint, fern, sundance, canary, almond, mink, and white daisy. So um, here is our paper suite here. And our sticker sheet, now it has a couple of mentions of Easter, but for the most part, you can, you know, use this for a lot of different things. And then we have our coordinating cardstock, which features most of those colors that I just mentioned to you. And our Daisy Meadow enamel dots. Oh my gosh, they're so, they're so precious, guys. Um, in fact, when they sent us out our samples, they included gold gemstones instead of these. And I waited and ordered these and I stuck them on all my pages. I just, I think they're so amazing. Um, we also have a Cricut collection with this. You know, every time I say this, I'm going to do the Cricut collection. And every time I just never get around to it. So we'll see. And then the picture of my life cards, which I do have, I'll show you through those. Um, and again, most of these 
um, are actually outlined in this cinnamon ink. So you'll see that. And then we have our Daisy Meadows card making stamp and thin cuts. How cute is this guy? He reminds me so much of that elf we had, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before with the little sign. So this is kind of the same thing. We have our bunny top and his feet, a cute little bow tie, um, some great sayings here, and this beautiful scalloped sign that you can personalize so many different things on. And $21.95, guys, can you believe that? You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight framelits in a stamp set. For like $22. Um, so that's amazing. This is the one that we got and that you'll see a lot on the pages. And the nice thing about this one is, is that these images match so many of the images on the sticker sheet that I'll bet that you are going to find it difficult to know which is a sticker and which is something that I stamped and then watercolor painted. So um, I'm looking for, I'm going to show you these in just a second. So this is the scrapbooking, uh, stamp set and then let's it. Um, so some fantastic flowers, some leaves, a beautiful side view of a butterfly. I really like that. It's not just your typical top view butterfly. Um, and then this beautiful sprig of flowers here. And then we did a lot of watercolor techniques. Um, if I have my paints down here. Yeah. So we used our close to my heart watercolor palette, which if you don't have one, they're only, I think like $12.95. You should definitely get it. You need a little water brush to go with it. Um, and there's even a mixing guide that can tell you how to mix these to get specific colors of close to my heart, uh, colors. Um, otherwise, you know, just a little futzing around on your own. I'm sure you're going to come up with so many wonderful different um, things to make your stamped images look like they were professionally painted or professionally printed and then added to your book. So um, here is our workshops your way. So the scrapbooking one is going to feature this big giant beautiful egg die cut, some other die cuts here. You of course you can remember you can order it with or without the page protectors. Um, and these are the three layouts that you will make in this um, paper suite. And I think this is a good time to show you the projects that we did um, in preparation for this catalog. Now these are not um, pages that you can, these are not the pages from this kit. This kit is different and it's exclusive. It has all these beautiful die cuts um, and the bunnies and different things like that. But this is just something that um, we did as makers to kind of learn about and show you the different elements in this um in this paper suite called Daisy Meadow. So here, of course, first of what I have left of my enamel dots, you can see I used quite a bit of those. So I just love the colors in this. They're not pastel, they're not jewel tone, they're this beautiful kind of in between. So those are our enamel dots. You get three sheets of those. One is completely gone for me. And then again, remember these colors. I never would have necessarily put these colors together on my own. So I'm really glad that I, I went ahead and did this, um, this workshop as a maker. Um, let me see. Hopefully you're all still centered and you can see this. Let me push it down a little bit. So this is stamping. We used the flower stamp from this stamp set, which is here. So this is the um, Daisy Meadows scrapbooking uh stamps and thin cuts and so you'll see we used this one here and we stamped it in that cinnamon ink and we kind of made our own background both on the white and on the smoothie color okay and then now this one here is supposed to have four four inch photos and then there's a big sticker that goes in the middle and I was really trying to get these things done before I shared them with you but let's just admit it if I keep waiting until I'm done <laughs> with these we'll never get to the to showing these uh paper collections off so um there's supposed to be some journaling up here I usually do tend to leave my journaling off until I'm done um and there's a lot of elements that are close to my heart uh they like to do those skinny journaling strips that's just not my style so I just left that off up here um, but here we have placed, this will be four photos here. And then there's, you'll see there's a big sticker that's left over to kind of go in the center for that. So this is our first layout that we did. And I love just using these kind of strips of paper here to add some of that pattern, but without overwhelming the entire, uh, layout. So, and you'll see, of course, the little enamel dots are here and here. So this is our first layout. 
Our second one is definitely a little bit more uh, Eastery, and it does take the from the title, this Easter Wishes. I did add a little bit of shadowing with the pencil here. Uh, you know, it's, you know, do what you want to do. And there was nothing in this particular portion of the directions that we had, but I just had this extra piece of peacock. So I just uh, put that there. There'll be some, you know, one four by six photo here. Sometimes I put the photo mats on, sometimes they don't, guys. Um, there's also room for some other photos over here. Again, if I waited till. <laughs> Till I had everything in place, we would be waiting forever. So, and then isn't this bunny just adorable? Um, you know, we popped this little flower up on the 3D foam tape. Um, again, this is a sticker. This is just the papers, the fronts and the backs. This is from our sticker sheet, this cute little bunny kind of overhanging this paper ledge here. So there's that one. And of course I've lifted off the sticky for here so I can slide my photo in when I'm ready. And then this one too. Now, I'll bet, can you guys tell? Now, of course, I didn't do a great job lining this up, so I'll have to do a little bit of papering, piecing when I get it into the album. Um, so do you guys, can you tell which flowers are from the stickers and which flowers are stamped? I know it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? And you know what? I'm realizing this. I probably did this maybe a little bit wrong. I think I was supposed to stamp these in the cinnamon. And I think I just stamped a whole bunch before I was ready to do it. Oh, although with these, these are watercolors. So I think stamping in the uh, intense black is still probably your best bet. So it doesn't lift off and run that color a little bit. And then of course these would be four by six photos throughout here. But here, have a look. Here's that side view of the butterfly, again, stamped in the cinnamon. And then here is a flower that I stamped and then colored with those watercolor paints. All right, here's another flower that I colored with the watercolor paints. Another one with the watercolor paints. And on these, on this one, I put a tiny bit of uh, shimmer brush on top of it. So it gives it a little bit of sparkle. But then this one's a sticker. Isn't that great? So here is our last two page spread from the Daisy Meadows of just some samples that um, I was able to do while we were waiting for this catalog to become live. Um, there's also, of course, the Picture My Life cards that you can get. And I do always recommend these because you can cut them out, you can use them. Um, you know, especially if you're building your pages beforehand and you are not sure how many extra photos you're gonna have, the small investment in these, I think they're what they're 650, 695, 650, I think, to have, and then you can add on those extra little flip flaps, or you can add on even the the three ring punched different um, uh, page pocket pages. I mean, there's just so many different options, and you know these are are just a great addition, I think, and they're so cost effective in, in my mind. But again, some of these dark, deep blues with this mustardy yellow, I'm not sure that I would have come up with that. So um, I kind of like being forced out of my comfort zone a little bit, but look at all of these beautiful Picture My Life cards. I just, I, I really love, here's that cinnamon again. I love the different uh, look to these. I think it's very uh, timeless. Uh, and yet, you know, very much on trend. So look at all of these. Even if you didn't want to stamp in color, you could kind of a little fussy cut out some of these and add so many different things to your to your pages. All right. So we're going to come back to Daisy Meadows here in a little bit because I do have some cards to show you that I also made with those. But let's run back to this catalog and get back to showing you all the fun, fun new things that are coming up, coming your way. Okay, so here is our Daisy Meadows scrapbooking. And then here is our Daisy Meadows card making. Look at this garden gate. Isn't it so precious? Uh, all the different things you could do with that. You could fold it open and make little gates with it. This is a beautiful little scallop -y frame you can do on so many different things. And so the card making kits, you cannot buy this stamp in Thinlet Set outside of this kit. So for $29.95, you're gonna get some of the sheets of paper, you're gonna get your card bases and envelopes, 16 card bases, 16 envelopes, this exclusive thinlet with the stamps, and then these beautiful, adorable wooden hearts are the embellishment for this kit. And you're gonna make four each of these cards. You will get printed instructions. It's, it's a great little 
you know, weekend project to do. Um, you'll do all the cutting and stamping and assembly. It's it, with these great instructions. So this is our Daisy Meadows card making workshop. All right. Are you ready for this? This one's called Eat, Play, Love. Oh, excuse me. Eat, Play, Love. And if you've been out shopping at either Michael's or Walmart, you're going to see a lot of home decor items that actually will remind you of this. There's a lot of things out there right now that have this really fun kitchen retro look to them. So this one I dove in and I, so the other workshop we got kind of instructions in a cutting guide from close to my heart. With this one, I just dove in and tried to replicate some of these page layouts and also kind of do my own thing. Um, let me give you the colors real quick. So we have Glacier, Lagoon, Avocado, Fern, Lemonade, Nectarine, Candy Apple, Toffee, Almond, Black, French Vanilla, and White Daisy. So you'll see through this, look at, oh, look at these bright colors. Aren't these great? This is the coordinating cardstock. And then these are your six sheets and your paper, your sticker sheet, if you want the sticker sheet and the sheets. Um, again, a coordinating Picture My Life card uh, thing that we will go through. And look at this fantastic Cricut collection. Look at that awesome mixer. I gotta, I gotta get on the ball guys. And then these adorable wood shapes. You'll see I added some color to some of these in the samples. All right. So then we also have um, an exclusive stamp set in a uh, thin lit set. This one is for the card making. And then this one is the scrapbooking. I ordered this right away. I do have a couple of little samples to show you. Um, nothing quite finished yet, um, but some of these jars that I've done. Look at the $23.95. I almost didn't buy this, guys, because I have a mason jar. I have some some flower mason jar stamps and things, but I love the font. The typography on this is so on trend. I love these little elements. You're going to see them sprinkled throughout here. Look at this little whisk. Oh, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see. Look at this little, this little whisk, this little heart. It's a $23.95 for a huge stamp set and all these thinlets. I just thought that was was totally worth the money. So I did get that. I did not get this one yet, um, but I did use these samples you'll see on some of the page layouts that I'm trying to, to coordinate with this. Of course, we also have the Workshop Your Way uh, scrapbooking. This has some exclusive paper. So while you'll see this piece of paper, in the paper packet this one isn't so this is a different one so there'll be a lot of cute different little things that you can um if you get this workshop and this paper pack you're gonna have some different papers too which is great there's that giant mixer isn't that amazing so that's one of the die cuts from this sheet again you can get it with or without page protectors um i just love it so i'll show you my pages here in just a second and then we also have the card making kit. Now this I did not order on my first order. I did just order this um, yesterday because you'll see I really wanted some of these stamps to add some more embellishments to my paper, uh, to my layouts. Um, and so this one is going to come with a couple of the pet, a couple of the sheets of paper, some solid cardstock, um, white flower sequins. That's what these are here. I'm not even going to bother lifting it up to you because they're very, very, very tiny. And then the exclusive exclusive stamp and die set, which is, of course, is a, a pie and some cherries and then this cute little um, word thing here. But look at these cards. Aren't they just the sweetest? And again, some of these colors, I mean, yeah, and they're so on trend. If you go into a couple, you go into any store these days, they have this type of, uh, this type of home decor going on. There's those little sequins, if you can see them a little bit better. They're almost like a three-dimensional little flower. So let me show you what I have done with this. Now, again, work in progress, work in progress, because, you know, if we waited for me to finish everything, we would be waiting forever. And now um, I'm going to try to go back and show you where I took inspiration from some of these pages so you guys can see. These catalog idea books really are worth their weight in gold. Um, so you can get so many great ideas. So here was our initial page here, which when I started to work on this page, I thought, oh my gosh, I couldn't possibly put a piece of white cardstock on top of this beautiful paper and cover that whole thing up. 
So what did I do? I did what a lot of paper crafters do, which I thought I would gut out the center part of this, which means to take an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat and cut this out and lift it out so that we could use just a solid sheet of paper below it and retain that extra beautiful paper. However, the other side of this paper is just as precious. So here's what we did. I very painstakingly worked to alternate my front and backs, and I'm actually using the front and back of each piece of paper. So sometimes people like to do that because you like to keep your things either chronological, sometimes it's hard to match up the paper collections, but let me show you how I did this. So instead of gutting out this paper, I did put a piece of white paper right on top of it, and I actually cut that a little bit shorter, and I trimmed out a piece of red underneath this, which is eight by eight. So we do have our original piece of paper, which is this amazing two inch square grid. We have our sticker from the sticker sheet. We have these elements here, these little floral elements. Now I haven't had a chance to add in, but they did put some blue gemstones on top of these wood ornaments. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then I tried to do a three by four. You'll notice my measurements a little bit off of my, my turquoise paper. So, you know, whatever, it's handmade. Um, so we have a three by four placeholder to go here. Um, and then this is a picture of my life card here with a couple little sticker element and again some more of those wood shapes. Now these wood shapes, this I cut this family traditions because the photos that I'm going to use on this layout are some photos that we did for our Thanksgiving this year. We were at my parents house. So this is a picture of my life card um, that I cut out, fussy cut it, and then I edged it with a little bit of the taupe ink. And then here's our wood spatula and our wood rolling pin from our wooden shapes and I just colored them with a uh, wax crayon marker so um, that's what that is there so you can color these if you like and I, you'll see another one later that I colored so because I didn't want to cut out this paper you'll see like there's all my it's underneath there now we flip so this is the other side because again I didn't want to mess up this beautiful beautiful design that's already on this paper excuse my fingerprints on my placeholder so then this is taken from the example that we have in here um this layout here so this is from the workshop your way and this is how they use this piece of paper in this one so you'll see i tried to kind of replicate that I'll slide it here to the side and I've put on, oops, here, you'll see my little placeholders are coming off. So I have my four by six. I took a slightly different piece of paper from the Picture My Life cards and that solid red, um, instead of, they used another Picture My Life card, but I just used a piece of solid red for my scrap on my first sheet and some wood hearts and some stickers. I used the green one here instead of the yellow that they have, but that's where this page came from, okay? So now, in this workshop as is this page. I don't have this paper here, right? Because I didn't buy this workshop. I just got the paper pack and the sticker sheet. So now my facing page, I've taken, oops, I've taken the floral paper. I'm trying to keep these all stacked up so you guys can see them. Um, let me pull this out. I've taken my floral paper and I've made a layout that I think coordinates fairly well with this one there. So, and then this one, I don't know if I had an inspiration piece. Yeah, it was kind of, see this one here, how they have the, the strip there underneath. Now I didn't have this big, giant, beautiful, beautiful mixer to go on my page, but I just took some of the zip strips from our other papers. This is the rolling pin zip strip that comes on top of one of the papers. And I took a piece of Lagoon and I put out some, you know, almond, placeholders here for my photographs. This is the sticker. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of ribbon anymore with Close to My Heart. This I had from my stash, so I thought this kind of olive color worked really well. And these are stickers from the sticker sheet. So this is my facing page. All right. Now again, because we're using both sides of this beautiful paper, you have to flip and go this way. So now I have this layout here, which is also inspired from this one right here. See this? 
I really liked this layout here. So now they've got some smaller photos here. I decided to do these as four by sixes. I used, again, a wooden element. I used part of the Picture My Life card. I don't have these flowers because these come in the kit, but I had a leftover, I had a sticker here. These are the stickers from the sticker sheet, this one and this one. This is paper that's cut. All right. And I thought, so this was the back of the other paper. I really loved this teapot and the pie and I could not bring myself to cover it up. So taking a strip from our beautiful two by two grid and zip strips from the other two, two of the papers here. This is a picture my life card. This is also a picture my life card. I've just put a photo placeholder, which is not going to be quite be four by six because I want it to have a similar um, wide border that this one does. So I just, this is the toaster poster, the toaster picture my life card. I just, I'm going to cover it up when I get my photo there. And again, we're trying to balance the colors across the two pages. So that's how this one came together. And again, here's that wood element. I colored it with a um, wax crayon. All right, and then we flipped this one over. And now we have this beautiful cherry. Now that's why I ended up, I ordered that other stamp because I want to have some cherries to stamp perhaps on this border here. So. Again, this was a leftover piece here. Uh, this is the back of our previous paper. A picture my life card, an element from the sticker sheet, an element from the sticker sheet. This is something that I stamped and cut out. I have a whole little packet of the little things that I stamped and cut out from our, our really awesome um, jar stamp here. So those are elements from there. And then the sticker. All right, and then I was gonna be done with this page. I'm like, okay, this is on a piece of white daisy cardstock. We're done. But then I flipped it over. I was looking at my little stack of stuff that was left over and I had this beautiful centerpiece um, from that other paper. Again, this is not cut out from that other paper. I took this last sheet and I just cut it in a couple of strips. So you'll see of that 12 by 12 grid or the two by two sheet stickers. So, or the two by two squares. This is one of those squares here. These are zip strips. Here's another piece here. And then I have a couple of pieces left over for when I want to actually get this put together and um, you'll see I had some smudgies here. I was going to do uh, journaling here but now that I've smudged this up a little bit I will probably fill with photographs or um, a picture of my life card. I've actually pulled several of them that would fit right in there. So this is kind of what we have left. We have this is left. We have some stickers from our sticker sheet are left. I have one whole sheet of paper left. Um, I really like this. I think I'm going to use this for the cards uh, when I do some cards. Um, well, this is left over from the bunny one. Here's that big sticker that's supposed to go on the bunny. And then here are some of those jars that I made with that stamp set. So this is the one. Remember I told you I was really oops, excited. And here's my picture of my life cards that I have left over. That mason jar stamp, which I wasn't going to get because I already have a mason jar stamp, but when I saw it was only like $23, I did get this. Now, you'll want to know, I tried to put, um, I wanted it to kind of look like glass, so I tried to put clear shimmer brush on this, but it will lift up your your ink unless you're using like a, a Stazon or something else. So don't put it over the entire thing. When I got to these, I just put it on the lid and then kind of on the blue, so it didn't go over my ink um, but I like that it gives a little shimmer to that lid. This was an example I was trying to play, like if I took my black shimmer pen and kind of drew the lines like it would be the rim of the jar. I didn't like that one. So these are the two that it kind of, I, after my experimentation that I, I really liked. So again, you have, there's, there's so many possibilities. So, and then here's my little wooden shapes. Here's what's left for my wooden shapes along with some of those elements that I just sat and stamped and, and die cut. Um, it's always fun to have these things on hand so that you can kind of start filling in with, um, with little elements and things like that. So when I go in to actually finish these pages, I'll have some, some little things to top it off with. All right, let's keep going. So those are our two main paper collections. Um, I've never, ever been this far ahead of the game in making samples guys so I thought um that you know it was so fun because these are it's just so uh fun to have things ready and have see bright new things so there you go that's my second set of examples now um 
here's the rest of those picture my life cards I'm not going to flip through them all but you can see so many great elements with these you know there's some that are definitely more florally some that are more graphics some that are more kitchen themed some you know lots of good you know sayings in this set too lots of nice frames so I, I did really like these Picture My Life cards. Both collections um, I thought were very, very um, complimentary to the collections. Um, all right, just trying to make sure I have all the rest of my samples for you. All right, so we've done our Daisy Meadows. We've done our Eat, Pray, Love collection. Um, this is the card making one, which I did order. It'll be here hopefully, maybe by the end of the week, but certainly by next week. Our coordinating uh, mix-in papers that um, have some really sweet designs that will, of course, extend your collections uh, even further. And then we get fun, fun little new things. The gnomes. We have more gnomes. And we have kitchen gnomes. I think I'm going to probably get these before the catalog is over. I, have a, I personally have resisted most of the gnomes. Not all. I do have some gnomes. But look at the salt shaker and the little spoon and these little gnomes. We finally have a girl gnome. I guess a lot of people were requesting a girl gnome. Um, I need you to gnome your super, whisking you a happy day. Just a little gnome cooking. And again, all sorts of really great examples using our mix-ins and some stamps. Um... For some cards and some really fun elements all right we have a food truck how many of you have been to food truck things um in the last year how many are you going to go to food truck things coming up while well, we're still not eating inside so we have the food and memories stamp and thin cuts 29.95 or of course 18.95 if you would just uh, like the stamps and here are some more these are those dual layer stamps so you'll have your base and your um, accents. So all sorts of fun that you can have with these. We've got lemons, uh, uh, apples, cherries, fun, fun. A whole new set of girls. Gosh, these have been popular. I've seen all sorts of examples for these. Uh, people making them for their kids, people making them for their hairstylists, all sorts of fun little things. So these are called besties. We have Zoe, Olivia, Lucy, and Kelsey. You can go on Pinterest and see all sorts of ideas about people, you know, matching one up to their to their child, adjusting the coloring on the hair. I mean, it's like paper dolls for adults, people. People are, are really liking these. And then we have a new shaker stamp to go with our shaker card. So I was, of course, hopped in the bad wagon, thought I was hoping to have a sample done for you. I'm really trying to get a sample done for some friends. But, you know, if we waited for that, we could be here all month. So this is, of course, um, designed to go with our shaker set. So this is our shaker base and the, and the stitching that goes in the top. You can make your own confetti with this set. And you can make all sorts of great um, shaker cards with all sorts of new sayings to go with them. So these are perfectly sized to coordinate with this piece. You will need this. It is from the main catalog. We've reprinted it here for your convenience, but that is the thin cuts uh, for $21.95 for these four pieces. And then you can get the foam and acetate sets. Cheapest and best way to get three dimensional foam tape, guys. Just buy these. It really is. Um, let me see if I have, I don't have one handy, but once you've, taken the ring out of this this whole middle part is cut and scored into foam squares and you can use that for to make all of your you know embellishments and like that three-dimensional oh this is getting long okay this just a note stamp just a great little uh well, what size is this a size stamp um and i do have some samples here for you that we did make so this one here is kind of a easter themed only because the instructions had us using the other side, which was the bunny, but just the way my paper was cut, you really couldn't see the bunny. So I just flipped it over and I'm going to use these. I made two samples of every card, so I'm just going to use this for um, somebody around Easter time. So there's this one. This is just a note. And of course, I always stamp your envelopes. This is from, um, I think this is still available in our core catalog. It's uh Oh, I'll have to look it up for you. I'll try to put it up on the screen here. Um, but it is an amazing set. I use it on several of these. So the, and again, stamped in cinnamon. So there's that one. And then this one, 
we I watercolored and then I splattered with our cinnamon ink. So just a note to let you know I'm thinking of you. Some more of those enamel dots from the Daisy Meadows collection. And then here is, this also comes with this stamp set here. Uh, so this, you've got mail. And then my final example with this one, also utilizing this uh, stamp set from Daisy Meadows. Uh, a note to tell you thank you. Again, you can intermix all of these. You can mask off, like we masked off the just on this one. And then repeating that stamp on the envelope there again in cinnamon. So there's some examples for you with this such a versatile stamp here. I'm um, excited that we got that one. And this is on my list to look at how beautiful this is. This one is called Cherry Blossoms. It's 11 stamps. It's $14.95. I love, again, the typography is beautiful. But these are these flowers are going to be great just on their own. You are not going to have to color these flowers. I promise you those make such an impact. Or if you do want to color them, you can do kind of what this is was done on this one, which is just a tiny little bit of peach in the middle. And I'm sure this was probably stamped, uh, this is stamped in cinnamon. So again, think about stamping in a color other than black, especially if you're not gonna be coloring it because you won't have to worry about your ink running. All right, almost to the end. Some beautiful uh, step stamping here with this stamp here. It's gonna show you how you take these elements and add your colors to make this beautiful finished little nest with the eggs. This is a six by six page, an awesome bunny with a thinlet and a beautiful Easter set with a beautiful banner and little beautiful uh, little sketched elements. Look, they've even made us a, uh, a bunny shaker card here. Alrighty, almost there. Um, Be the good. What a great bold stamp set. It seems like kids will really gravitate towards this. It would be great for birthdays and encouraging cards. The kids these days, they need all the help they can get. I promise you, they are all struggling. They are putting on such a brave face, but they really, really need some affirmation these days. So um, I think a good goal would be to get a stamp set similar to this, if you don't have this one, and make some stamps and just send them just because. We really need to start paying attention. Um, I, I think this is a great stamp set that can do a lot of great things in the world. This one could do a lot of great things in the world if it was real for me. This is Cheers My Dears. It's a really fun stamp set. Um, there's They've used some examples here, making some beautiful background paper here. Um, very timely, a lot of fun. All the different drinks. There's, you can make recipes for everything. There's mint, there's lemons, there's limes, there's sugar cubes. All right. All right, this is Build a Rainbow and I did buy it. Didn't get any samples done yet. Um, but I just thought that these little individual framelets um, in the cloud you could use with so many different things. Now, what they've done with this is they've taken these stamps and they've stamped their own background, usually tone on tone. And then they've cut the little rainbows with this, which I just thought was quite clever. This is $9.95. You know, you're going to get $9.95 with a magnetic sheet. Great, great investment, I think, for your for your uh, crafting studio. Uh, we have more slimline kind of things. Um, these are our, our regular, not, I'm sorry, this is a, um, a B size stamp set, but these are kind of sized to fit more on those slimline cards that are so popular these days. We have our next in our series of calendar stamps. We have March and April, both 1895. If you take off the, you know, just the couple of mentions of the month, you have beautiful graphic elements to make calendars or add to scrapbook pages. Uh, we have our now available, finally, Make It From The Heart Volume 5, which has 15 patterns for two page 12 by 12 layouts and five single patterns for 12 by 12 layouts and 10 card patterns for standard size cards. Essential. If you are struggling, if you need some inspiration, check out any of these books. Truly, I think I think with a little bit of you know taking a deep breath and reading through some of these, you are gonna find that you can put those pieces together so much quicker than on your own. So go ahead and try one of these. Um, make it from the heart volumes. We also have the brush lettering set from Melissa Esplin, and our stamp of the month. So unique. Don't you guys love it? Um, so this one is for March. 
You can stamp it on its own. You can color in bits and pieces of it. Look with the watercolor. So this is called Winged Masterpieces. Remember, this is $5 if you hit $50 before shipping and tax. If you're a VIP, it's free. Um, and you can get as many as multiples of uh, $50 as you have uh, in your cart. If you are a VIP, your first one will be free. And if your cart total is 101 or $102, you can get your second one for $5, which I would buy all the extra ones of these you can possibly get because they make great gifts for anybody, any crafter. And then our stamp of the month for next month, which will be for April, is this beautiful Scandinavian folk arc greeting. I love the boldness of these. Um, I think this is is great for cards and for um, and for scrapbookers. So that is where we're at. Um, our Operation uh, Smile Charity stamp set is the same. Every bit of wonderful seven dollars from every stamp set sold goes directly to Operation Smile. Uh, Close to my heart, I think had a record breaking fundraising year last year. So. I think that's it. Um, here was my little pile of things to show you. Oh, I did get, these are from our core catalog, the scalloped kind of squares. I was gonna try to use that on some of the Daisy Meadows samples. So with that, I'm going to end this video. I do have, there are a lot of upcoming specials that start this month. So please check out my other videos. I will link them in the description below. There are a lot of great things to, uh, to save on and I don't want you to miss that. So thanks again for watching. I know this one was pretty long, but I, I wanted to show you some of those samples that I was actually finally able to make in advance of this catalog. All right, guys, thanks so much. Bye-bye.